Hello guys, talking about Shui Peng. Where is Shui Peng? Where is Peng Shui? As the hashtag says. About this case, this situation, this matter, I'm going to present to you a few, a few facts, trying to put them in order. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uh, exactly precise, but I'm going to try my best. So, um, it seems that Peng Shui, China's, uh, one of China's best tennis players, she is number one in doubles in tennis and uh, she posted uh, something on their social media on uh, on their Weibo social media platform accusing next prime minister I think it was the prime minister or a minister anyway a high official high official of the state uh, accused him of sexual harassment and uh, sexual abuse and after that uh, I, I think I believe this post uh, was made on the 2nd of November this year 2021 and um, it was uh, yeah it was soon uh, rec immediately deleted that post her post and uh, well since then Peng Shui disappeared from public uh, life and uh, she cut all uh, ties, all connections, all, all uh, contacts with the WTA and the tennis world for about two weeks. And then uh, people started noticing the WTA uh, made a statement. Immediately I'm gonna show you. So the WTA made, you can see here, on the 14th of November, Steve Simon, um, chairman of WTA, chairman and CEO, SEO, CEO, sorry. The recent events in China concerning the WTA player Peng Shui are of deep concern. As an organization dedicated to women, we remain committed to the principles we were founded on equality, opportunity and respect. Peng Shui and all women deserve to be heard, not censored. Her accusation about the conduct of a former Chinese leader involving a sexual assault must be treated with utmost seriousness. In all societies, the behavior she alleges that took place needs to be investigated, not condoned or ignored. We commend Peng Shui for her remarkable courage and strength in coming forward. Women around the world are finding their voices so injustices can be corrected. We, re we expect this issue to be handled properly, meaning the allegations must be investigated fully, fairly, transparently and without censorship. Our absolute and unwavering priority is the health and safety of our players. We are speaking out so justice can be done. So this is what the WTA said on the 14th of November. Then, on the 17th of November, CGTN, uh, state, uh, China State Media, media affiliated media, as you, hear, as you see here, this label, official label on Twitter, they said Chinese tennis star Peng Shui has sent an email to Steve Simon, WTA chairman, the WTA chairman and CEO, uh, CEO, CEO uh, CGTN has learned, the email reads, and then they post this, just a second, um, Yes, this print screen. So the CGTN, a China-related media, offers us the information that Shui Peng sent this mail to the WTA. And uh, in which Shui, uh, Shui Peng, as they show us, would have said, would have written this in this uh, email that they are uh, showing us. Regarding the recent news released on the official website of WTA, the content was has not been confirmed or verified by myself and it was released without my consent. The news in uh, that release, including the allegations of sexual assault, is not true. I'm not missing, nor am I unsafe. I've just been resting at home and everything is fine. Thank you again for caring about me. If WTA publishes any more news about me, please verify it with me and release it with my consent. As a professional tennis player, I think I thank you all for your com uh, companionship 
and consideration. I hope to promote Chinese tennis with you all if I have the chance in the future. I hope Chinese tennis will become better and better. Once again, thank you for your consideration. So this is what CGTN, the China affiliated media, shows us as the mail sent by Peng Shui to the WTA. Um, then came the, res the response from the WTA, from the chairman of the WTA, uh, Steve Simon. Also on the 17th of, no of November, he said, this is, you can find these statements of uh, Steve Simon on the WTA tennis uh, website. So he said, the statement released today by Chinese state media concerning Peng Shui only raises my concerns as to her safety and whereabouts. I have a hard time believing that Peng Shui actually wrote the email we received or believes that he, what is being attributed to her. Peng Shui displayed incredible courage in describing the allegation of sexual assault against a former top official in the Chinese government. WTA and the rest of the world need independent and verifiable proof that she is safe. I have repeatedly tried to reach her via numerous forms of communication to no avail. Peng Shui must be allowed to speak freely without coercion or intimidation from any source. Her relations, her relation of sexual assault must be respected and investigated with full transparency and without censorship. The voices of women need to be heard and respected, not censored nor dictated to. This is what Steve Simon uh, responded to the, to the statement of the CGTN about uh, presenting us that email. So, after that, uh, I think before another statement from the WTA chairman came a some uh, information from this guy who is a uh, chief in another affiliated media from Ch of, Ch of the China state um, and released some photos, showed us some photos and he said that this will, he, they were obviously trying to speak on behalf of Shui Peng showing us how safe and uh, perfectly fine she is. So this was on the 20th of November, let me see just a second, this was on 19th, so on the 19th of November, this guy posted this, just saw these latest photos of Peng Shui, so this is Hu Xin, I think this is how you pronounce his name, anyway, China State Affiliate Media, so this uh, he's a chief, uh, editor-in-chief of the Global Times for the Chinese press. Obviously, Chinese press equals Chinese government. Um, just saw these latest photos of Peng Shui, as I don't believe Peng Shui has received unfair treatment, so I'm willing to believe the authenticity of these photos, and I'm confident that untrue speculations surrounding her will eventually be smashed. And uh, below here, it's a post from another China State affiliate media guy, Shen Shi Wei, or something. And he presents us these photos, and then in the next day, he this guy shows us the same photos, the same post with another message saying, "So this guy Hu Xin from uh, wait a second from editor in chief of the Global Times, Global Times China or something." I confirmed through my own sources today that these photos are indeed Peng Shui's current state. In the past few days, she stayed in her own home freely and she didn't want to be disturbed. She will show up in public and participate in some activities soon. How does this sound guys? Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. Now we're convinced. Yeah, now we're convinced. You're showing us four photos and you're telling us that swiping is okay. They are telling us. Why isn't she telling this to the WTA in person, in some chat, on Zoom, on WhatsApp, on, on the telephone, something? Hmm. Obviously something's off so these are the photos i'm going to show them to you closely so you can see them let me see if you can see here yep these are the photos ah sorry yeah these are the photos you can see them here 
this is a really interesting photo that people on the internet commented upon because it's really interesting this is, this, this is the panda here uh, the panda bear some of the some of china's symbols i guess a panda bear lives in china of course and it's um, a really interesting animal and here if you look closely let me show you a little bit closer here you can see this photo here let me see if you can see it yes you can so here <laughs> in that framed picture in the back it's I, I i don't know if that's peng shui with the uh, winnie the pooh bear character and people commented on this that this is a, a sort of some sort of a message since winnie the pooh was uh, partially banned in china because some people made fun of uh, i think of uh, the president with this with, with winnie the pooh just a second Yep, so we the poof. I want to see some info about this. China bans we the poof film after comparisons. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they 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 made fun of in some way using this character we the poof. Uh, in comparison to President uh, Xi, the president, yeah, Xi Jinping, they made a comparison, a, a facial comparison between his face and this character's face. Anyway, this character, this with the Pooh character, was banned or some posting with this character on the internet on their internet because China's internet is not equal with our internet, of course. They have their own internet, and. Uh, People were, uh, I guess, forbidden to post things with Winnie the Pooh or something. Anyway, people commented on this, uh, on all sorts of um, messages that uh, this photo could transmit to others. So, yeah, these were the pictures. And they are saying that these pictures, Peng Shui, WeChat Moments, this, this is some uh, platform on their social media we chat moments this is what it's called I, I believe just posted three latest photos and said happy weekend her friend shared the three photos and the screenshot of paying we chat moments and these were the uh, screen grabs from the social media of shui peng so they say so they're presenting us this guy is presenting us these pictures telling us on the 19th and 20th that you, you see here, she's safe, she's perfectly safe, she's she's perfect. Yeah, 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 sure. And uh, to go on here, yeah, this is uh, the, on the, the one on the 19th. Just let me see what, and then uh, these guys released videos also on behalf of Peng Shui, so not letting her, she hasn't spoke to the WTA or to media or to other tennis players in all this all of this time but they are posting videos and pictures and telling us that she's fine yeah so on the this is a post on the 20th also and uh, this guy editor in chief in the, of the global times china says um, i acquired the, i acquired two video clips which show peng shui uh, was having dinner with her coach and friends in a restaurant the video content clearly shows they are not they are shot on saturday beijing time I'm not sure what this guy wanted to tell us here, meant to say, or I guess somewhere in the video there's a calendar or something and you can see the date. I don't know. Anyway, this was one of the videos, a video with Shui Peng, I guess that's Shui Peng here. With a bunch of people uh, having dinner at a table, anyway, in a restaurant and this, uh, this is the other video second clip as you see this guy presents to us this video with Shui Peng very short 15 second video with her entering I guess this restaurant okay so moving on oh 
yeah i have here the response after these videos the response of steve simon the chairman and ceo of the wta so on the 20th of november he said yep you can see here so Stay um, Malasha. I'm glad. Just a second. I'm glad to see the videos released by China state media, state-run media that appear to show Peng Shuai at the restaurant in Beijing. While it is uh, positive to see her, it remains unclear if she is free and able to make decisions and make actions on her own without coercion or external interference. This video alone is insufficient. As I have stated from the beginning, I remain concerned about Peng Shuai's health and safety and that the allegations of sexual assault is being censored and swept under the rug. I have been clear about what needs to happen and our relationship with China is at a crossroads. What this means, guys, you will see immediately, you will understand. So, shortly said, the WTA uh, expressed in an, some other statement that they are even considering they are really consider seriously considering to not have to not hold any other tennis WTA events in China. They have six or seven major tennis events in China per year, and these are huge, huge in money, of course, uh, in related to a lot of money contracts and so on. So this would be. A really huge thing if should huge huge thing if the WTA would stop will 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 cease will will cut off any business with China in regards of these events. Also, of course, after these came out, many players also expressed their concerns in public about this situation. Another weird, weird thing, the IOC uh, Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach uh, posted some photos, so the IOC posted on the internet, on social media, on, on Twitter I believe, this photo telling us that Shui Peng just had a video call with President of the Olympic Committee and with some Chinese officials and where where she said so uh, this is a statement the spokesman said the video does not change our call for a full fair and transparent investigation oh the spokesperson of, of the the WTA spokesperson this is the WTA spokesperson so the IOC said in a statement that Peng held a 30 minute call with its president Thomas Bach on Sunday during which she said she was safe and well at home in Beijing and wanted to have her privacy respect for now. So again, just a photo and they are telling us what Peng Shuai said, saying she is safe, she is okay and just, just, just wants to be away from public life in this period and has wants to cut any connection, any contacts with the tennis world, the WTA or any other player. So, uh, WTA spokesman said it was good to see Peng Shuai in recent videos, but they don't uh, alleviate or address WTA's concern about her well-being and ability to communicate without censorship or coercion. This video does not change our call for a full, fair and transparent investigation without censorship into her allegation of sexual assault, which is the issue that gave rise to our initial concern. Yep. Yes, guys, I'm going to show you what the tennis stars said about this. So, Serena Williams posted on Twitter. I'm devastated and shocked to hear about the news of my peer, Peng Shuai. Hope she's safe and, and safe and found as soon as possible. This must be investigated and we must not stay silent. Um... Saying love to her and her family during this incredibly difficult time. And using the hashtag where is Peng Shui. Yes, this was what Serena Williams said. Also, 
I want to show you immediately some posts here of Naomi Osaka. She said, just a second. Naomi Saka said, hey everyone, not sure if you've been following the news, but I was recently informed of a fellow tennis player that has gone missing shortly after revealing that she has been sexually abused. Censor censorship is never okay at any cost. I hope Peng Shui and her family are safe and okay. I'm in uh, shock at the current situation. I'm sending love and light her way. Using also the hashtag, where is Peng Shui? So, yes guys, where is Peng Shui? This is a good question. I believe that after some other videos that that guy, that uh, China State Affiliated Press who posted some other videos with Shui Peng attending at some kids tournament in Beijing, as he says. It's this video here. You can see it here. She's attending this event. You can see her here. Who knows? I this might be actually from these days. Who knows? I'm not sure. It could be. Of course, he's saying here that uh, she's too happy, uh, too big of a smile, so it's impossible for her to be so coerced and uh, held under pressure by the Chinese state as many other media over the, in the world says. So of course she looks okay in these videos. The problem is that she might just be used to, to this, these things that happened in China after the, the accusations that she posted on social media that have then been, had since been uh, deleted. Maybe she, the things could be like this. I mean, she could have just been told by the state officials, okay, we delete this. You see nothing about this anymore for another, I don't know, how many months or something. They must have told her. No contact with WTA, with the tennis world. You stay here in China, do your things, time passes, and then everybody will forget. And we'll just forget about the the accusation about the potential investigation that we could do, could put in action. This is the photo with the video conference. Um, again, another post by this guy. For those who truly care about the safety of Peng Shui, her appearances on these days are enough to relieve them or eliminate most of their worries. But for those aiming to attack China's system and boycott the Beijing Winter Olympics, facts, no matter how many, don't work for them. I don't know what this guy meant to say. You're clearly in a, some sort of, of a internet messaging war with the USA. Anyway, I'm gonna show you also what um, Djokovic said. I I don't have much information about it. I did hear about it uh, a week ago, and uh, it's honestly it's shocking, you know, that that she's missing. I mean, uh, uh, more so that it's someone that uh, I've seen on the tour in the previous years quite a few times. So I mean. Uh, there's not much more to say than, than hope that uh, she'll be found, that, uh, you know, that she's, she's okay and it's, it's, it's just, it's terrible that, um, you know, I can imagine just how her family feels, you know, that, that she's missing. Um, yes, guys, and look here, also Andy Murray uh, says something on Twitter about this situation with Peng Shui. Female tennis uh, player Peng Shui, whereabouts currently unknown after making sexual abuse allegations against Chinese government official. The speech gives us a remind. This speech gives us a reminder and some hope that things can change in the future. 
hashtag with Spain Shuai, and he posted here um, the winning speech of uh, Krishikova after uh, her and uh, her partner Sinyakova won the WTA Tour Finals in doubles. And I don't know if I'm allowed to post this. Anyway, I think we can hear what she said. Anyway, she said the things about about um, about communist regimes and uh, regimes, dictatorial regimes. I think uh, this was the, the message to be short. Just a second. Today is a really special day for for us, for the Czech Republic, but also for our uh, Slovak friends. And we call this day the, the Velvet Revolution. Uh, so on 17 November 1989, uh, Czechs and Slovaks, they've been uh, one nation. And we had very brave um, Czechoslovakia students and citizens that and they went uh, to the, uh, outside to the street and they've been demonstrating against the non-democratic regime that we had uh, there back then. And uh, because of the... Um, yes, yes, she was talking about, about revolutions, about dictatorial regimes being put down. We can live in a in a beautiful in a beautiful country back home, and we can live without any restrictions. And also, I'm not posting the, with, the image with, uh, with, a, with, a, uh, with a freedom because of copyright reasons. So... Talking about freedom, of course. Okay, guys, this was uh, these were the some of the facts, the statements, uh, the official statements, media statements, Twitter statements. You can tell me what you think in the comments below about these uh, messages uh, from the Chinese state affiliated media on behalf of Peng Shui wanting to, to convince us that she's just fine. Cheers.